Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry CC for you. Today we are going to discuss an entirely different set of questions. That is questions from general chemistry. And uh, this is very important because in various interviews, usually they ask you questions from uh, general chemistry. So very important. And also even for entrances like Kusat, Kusat, Pondicherry University and so on. They usually, even Bitsat, they usually ask questions from general chemistry. And it is very important to know all of them and also uh, even for government level exams related to chemistry railway exams all this is important this is one of the video on demand i have got this request personally so i will have to do this in the fb page a few of you have asked me for this one so let's do this and uh, let me tell you the video on demand will be continuing and tomorrow i am going to do uh, amino acid uh, the shortcuts and uh, things to remember and also questions for some entrance examination that you have requested and thirdly i am going to do some basic organic chemistry things that you have demanded all these three videos will be uploaded tomorrow and day after tomorrow sorry i couldn't upload any videos yesterday it was because uh, i i was caught up in some works and uh, tomorrow today onwards i'll be again regular with the videos thank you so much for uh, your patience when waiting for the videos Let's begin. The first question in general chemistry is the chemical used to prevent blood clotting in the blood banks. So in blood banks usually they are using a particular chemi chemical to prevent blood clotting. We will be donating it, uh, donating blood in bulk to the blood banks and uh, sodium citrate is the chemical that they use to prevent the blood clotting. Now the second question is which chemical is produced through rashic process? This is very important hydroxylamine. Uh, they can ask these questions in another way. They can later give uh, tell that this particular uh, a chemical A is produced through this particular process. And that chemical A reacts with uh, some carbonyl com compound to form uh, some, uh, some product C. And you have to identify A and B. We can uh, ex always expect these kinds of questions for any exams. Now, third question is cobalt 60 is commonly used in radiation therapy because it emits. So, it is gamma rays and this third question, this is very important because it is important for uh, MOSBA spectroscopy. MOSBA spectroscopy, this is important because uh, the principal metal that we are using in this particular spectroscopy is cobalt 60 itself because it is emitting gamma rays. Now the fourth question here is which chemical act as chief agent in attracting mosquitoes to human because it is lactic acid and uh, what is the speciality of lactic acid lactic acid is also present in milk and milk products you know that. Now the next question is which uh, what is known as the magic metal of life. The answer is calcium. So another uh, question that we can tell is the chemical sun. Something which is known as chemical sun. Magnesium is known as chemical sun. Chemical sun is the element. Uh, magnesium is known as the chemical sun. So these kinds of questions are also very important for a lot of exams. Next, the sixth question is amber color is imparted to glass by adding. It is uh, carbon. When we add uh, glass, um, uh, carbon to glass, amber color will be imparted. And uh, then sterling, sil uh, sterling silver contains silver and which metal? It is copper. Then uh, apart from that, things that you have to remember is German silver contains copper, nickel and zinc. Bell metal contains copper, tin. Bronze contain copper tin and uh, brass contain copper zinc. Invar contain iron nickel and Newton metal bismuth lead than tin. Okay. Now the eighth question is which acid is known as muriatic acid? It is hydrochloric acid. Then aqua fortis is the other name for nitric acid and spirit of salt is again hydrochloric acid. Next question. Which chemical is commonly used for preserving biological specimens? It is formaldehyde. Then next question. Which polymer is used for making bulletproof vest? It's Kevlar. Then what is the common name for cyclotrimethylene trinitramine? Cyclonite. It's also known, known in that name. And we need to find the name, common name of uh, this particular common. This was asked in uh, Kerala PSC for a long time for the chemistry examination as well as the technical assistant examination which contain chemistry questions. So let's see the answer. 
and the answer is RDX. You have all heard about this RDX. It is the research department explosive and also called as hexogen and T4. Okay, hope you understood that. Next question. When copper sulfate is mixed with slaked lime, the mixture is known as. It's known as Bordex mixture. This was asked in railway exam once. So, please note this down because the uh, junior uh, metallurgical assistant, uh, that exam is coming very soon. Could be helpful for those who are preparing for that. Please write it down. Then, the element used in photocopying machine is. It's selenium and it is abundantly present in the surface of the moon. Next, the 14th question is, the National Chemical Laboratory is situated in. This is important for uh, in interviews, very important for the interviews. Even in, uh, whenever you are going for interview like any PSUs, uh, they will be asking a lot of questions about the common chemical laboratories present in India and even about the headquarters of that particular PSU itself. If you know, uh, ONGC interview for chemistry is coming very soon. So, I, I, I hope this would do some help for those people, those who are preparing for that one also. Now, the 15th question is, the substance which is used to make lead pencils is. This is very, very simple question. You should know that. Uh, without knowing this, there is no use of uh, doing further studies. It is that simple uh, information. Then, silver, silver is the ore of, it is the ore of potassium. Then, the ore of lead would be galena and cerocyte. Dolomite is the ore of magnesium, monocyte is the ore of thor thorium, cinnabar is the uh, ore of mercury and tinkal is the uh, ore of boron. This is very important for all the entrances. They repeatedly ask even for CSI and net and gate, the ore, the questions from the ore is asked. Even IIT JEA, uh, IIT JEA also this is very important. They are asking questions from ore and specifically for uh, PG entrances, they usually ask questions from the ore. If you have seen some of the question papers usually they ask about lead magnesium they are common question then uh, even thorium which is very important then the discovery of uranium was made by it was made by martin claproth and uh, radium was found by madame curie magnesium was discovered by uh, joseph black xenon by william ramsey and even neon was found by william ramsey okay the next question is also very important for entrances as well because color of phenolphthalein in acid and base is very primitive question but always can be repeated. So the color of phenolphthalein in acid is having no color and when color of phenolphthalein this is in base okay color of phenolphthalein in base would be pink in acid it would be having no color. Then sugar present in barley is sugar in barley is maltose in starch it is maltose again. Then sugar cane, uh, it is sucrose. Milk, it is lactose. Fruits, it is fructose. Uh, keep this in mind. This is also a very common question that can be asked anywhere. Uh, whenever you are preparing for some chemistry related interviews, please go through these questions because they always test your basics rather than asking you a lot of subject based things because you have already written those exams and passed it. If you don't know the basic things, there is no meaning in going further. Next question is the glass used to make electric bulb prism and lenses is it's flint glass then window panes test tubes etc are made by soda glass very important so sometimes asked in exams then for uh, cooking utensils and high quality lab glass wares it's pyrex, pyrex glass those so, are preparing for uh, in PG also you have a chapter called ceramics some of you will be having a chapter called ceramics and this is a very important uh, information from that chapter. Now, the next, which chemical is produced through the chronic process? It's zinc chromate. Then sodium carbonate solvay process. It is produced by solvay process. Steel by Bessemer process. Heavy water by Girdler process. These are also very important because I, if you have uh, observed carefully in Pondicherry University, they usually ask the questions for uh, these kinds of names of the processes. Okay. Next, again, this was asked in, uh, this question was asked in BITSAT. If you remember, then chemical known as white vitriol, it's zinc sulfate. Blue vitriol is uh, copper sulfate. Green vitriol is for ferrous sulfate. Oil of vitriol is sulfuric acid. This was the question that was asked in Bitsat. Green vitriol. And it was also asked in Cusset exam as well. Green vitriol. So, please uh, keep this in mind. As I said, this is not just for uh, interviews and uh, government exams. This is important for every entrance exams. General chemistry questions. You 
then this is unit unit of uh, unit of measuring the quantity of mercury is its flask one flask means a 34.5 kilogram keep that in mind like temperature conversions it's always uh, important to remember uh, the unconventional things as well the units that are not usually used not just uh, of distance type uh, distance and uh, mass you have to remember these kinds of quantities as well then then nice powder of when which acid is used in carom board it's boric acid and it is uh, boric acid also used as mild antiseptic and eye, eye lotion as well most of you might know this these are all very common information but important from an examination point of view which nitrogen compound is used in photographic film it is silver nitrate and it's also known as lunar caustics then which polymer is made from caprolactam this is very important it's nylon 6 and uh, caprolactam i have already shown you it is uh, from beckman uh, from Beckman condensation, caprolactam can be made, and uh, I have already discussed the re reactions. So now you have to remember the names. Metal contained in sea cucumber is vanadium. Then, which metal is commonly used in photoelectric cells? Just cesium. Then, next question: Which is the one not one element in the periodic table? Uh, you let me tell you why this is important. Because usually in every exams, uh, even in the recent technical assessment exam held in one of the agricultural university, I have seen that they usually prefer. Uh, I mean, for research assistant and project assistant examination, if you have a written test, they usually ask you elements after hundredth element in the periodic table. They simply ask you the names. So, mendelevium is the one not one element, and apart Apart from this, please keep in mind, Permium is the 100th and 102 is Nobelium. Okay. Now, the 30th and the final question of today will be, which is the most reactive allotrope of phosphorus? It's white phosphorus. We know uh, there are three types of allotrope, black, white and red phosphorus. Out of which, white phosphorus will be the most reactive. It is the least stable and most volatile and it will be gradually changing to red phosphorus. Okay. So as I said, we'll be continuing with more video on demand tomorrow onwards and I'll definitely be regular with the videos now again. Uh, this week I had some unavoidable works to complete. That's why I couldn't be very regular. But uh, I'm very committed to uh, make videos for you and I'll be definitely doing them. Please keep watching, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest notification. Thank you so much and all the best to all of you.